In today's tutorial, which was requested by a viewer, I'm going to show you how to make a seamless colourful stripe pattern and how to convert it into seamless diagonal stripes. Let's get started. Inside Procreate, tap the plus icon at the top right of the screen. In the top right of the window, tap the new canvas icon. This will open up the custom canvas settings where we will set the dimensions and colour profile for our patterns. Set up any size square canvas. I will set mine to 2000 by 2000 pixels. With the DPI set to 300. Next, on the left hand side, select colour profile. If you are printing your designs, then use a CMYK colour profile and select an RGB colour profile if your pattern is intended for a screen. Once this is done, tap Create. Tap the colour button to open the colours window and select the classic interface and change the colour to an off-white colour. Then drag the colour onto the layer to fill it. Now we need to create a new layer by tapping the layers icon and tapping the plus sign at the top right of the layers panel. We now need to change our colour. Tap the colour button and change the colour to black. Drag the colour to fill the layer. Now tap the transform tool. We need free form selected and in the snapping settings check that magnetics and snapping are on and that distance and velocity are set to max. Now we will drag the black tile to the left and snap into place at the halfway point of the canvas. Then tap the transform tool to deselect it. This will crop our black square into a rectangle. Tap the transform tool again and repeat the previous step by dragging it to the left until it snaps and forms a rectangle half its width. And tap the transform tool to deselect it. Tap the layers icon and duplicate the black rectangle by swiping left and selecting duplicate. With the top layer selected, tap the transform tool and drag it to the right of the centre line where it will snap into place. Tap the transform tool to deselect it. Tap the layers icon and with the top layer selected swipe right on the remaining two layers and tap group. Tap new group, tap the transform tool and on the right side edge of the layer Drag the middle point halfway across until it snaps to the exact centre of the canvas, then deselect it. Tap the layers icon and duplicate the group by swiping left and selecting duplicate. With this new group selected, tap the transform tool and drag the group to the right hand side of the canvas until it snaps exactly into place, then deselect it and tap the layers icon. Select the white tile in the bottom group, then swipe right on the white tile in the top group and from the top white tile tap, hold and drag the selection below and outside of the groups and merge these. Now select the top group and merge it with the group underneath it. We now need to group both of the layers. Tap new group and tap the transform tool. And like before, drag the right side to the center point and deselect it. Go back to the layers panel and duplicate the group. Tap the transform tool and drag the group until it snaps to the right then deselect it. 
tap the layers icon and using the same process as before, select both of the white layers. Tap, hold and drag the layers below and outside of the groups. Then flatten these layers. Then tap and rename the layer to background. Then with the two groups containing the black stripes, merge these together. Tap the layer and rename it to stripes. Swipe left and lock the stripes layer. And tap the plus icon to add a new layer above the stripes layer. Tap the new layer and select Clipping Mask. Then tap and rename this new layer to Stripe Colours. Now, swipe right on the other two remaining layers and select Group. Double tap New Group and rename to Template. Duplicate the group, tap the bottom group, swipe left to lock it, then collapse and hide it. This template can be duplicated each time you create a new colour combination. Select the top template group. We will now work within this template. Select the stripe colours layer, then tap the paintbrush icon. Go to painting and choose the round brush, then adjust the brush size to suit and colour in the stripes in your chosen colours. If you would like to use any of the colours I am using, I will pop the colours on screen and in the description box. Once done, tap the layers icon, select the background colours layer and you can colour in the spaces or simply fill the background with any colour you choose. Once done, tap the layers icon and on the stripes layer, swipe left and unlock it and merge the group or tap template and select flatten. Tap and rename to straight. Then duplicate this layer and rename it diagonal. Then hide the straight layer. We will now use the diagonal layer to create a diagonal stripe pattern tile. Tap the transform tool. Rotate 45 degrees. And with freeform selected, drag in the right and left sides. Then we will drag the top right edge outside of the canvas. And then do the same with the opposite end. Tap the layers icon and duplicate the diagonal layer twice. With the top layer selected, tap the transform tool, then drag and snap the layer to the top left quarter of the canvas using the snapping guidelines to check for accuracy then deselect it and tap the layers icon and select the next layer tap the transform tool and snap the layer to the bottom right quarter of the canvas deselect it then tap the layers icon and merge all three diagonal layers together this is your colourful diagonal stripes tile. If you want your stripes to be thinner, we will need to scale down the pattern tile until the stripes are the width we want. I will show you how to scale them down by using the diagonal tile, but the same rule applies to the straight tile. So with the tile you are working with, 
tap and hold the visibility checkbox so that it's the only layer showing. Duplicate the layer and hide the first one. This is because we are going to scale it down, but we will still have the previous scale size without having to make it again. Tap the transform tool and select uniform. And from the top right corner, drag it to the center point until it snaps to an exact quarter of the canvas. Deselect it and tap the layers icon and duplicate the layer. Then tap the transform tool and drag up until it snaps to the top. Deselect it and tap the layers icon and merge the two layers. Then duplicate the flattened layer, tap the transform tool and drag the layer to the right until it snaps in position. Deselect it and tap the layers icon and merge the two layers together. You can repeat this process until you have all the scale sizes you want. Remember that by duplicating the completed tile before scaling it down, you will have the pattern in multiple sizes without having to scale them all again in future projects. And that's it for our seamless colourful stripe pattern. I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step guide. If you did, I have some other tutorials for seamless patterns that you are free to check out and hopefully I'll see you over there. And if you stayed to the end, thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care and bye for now.